YouTube channel. If this is your first time visiting my channel, hey boo, my name is Naomi of what you do. In this video, I'm going into extreme details and exactly how to apply your makeup for beginners. If you know you've been having a lot of troubles trying to, you know, know how to apply your makeup, you've been buying expensive products, but you literally don't know how to make up, please guys stay to the end of this video. So in the past, I've been having so much bad looks because most times when I do my makeup, I come out very white because I didn't know how to choose the proper foundation, the proper primer. Yes, even I didn't even know how to do a full coverage makeup. But in this video, guys, you guys are going to learn the step-by-step -step process of how I actually do my makeup now for my soft glam. And, yeah. Yeah. So the first one I always tell guys is that pick the right primer for your skin type if you have a dry skin the right and proper primer to use if you have an oily skin you also need a matte primer for me i have um, a combined skin so i just use a normal primer or a primer that tends to moisturize my skin so guys, why is it so important to have a primer it's because it creates a barrier between your skin and your makeup and you wouldn't want your whole full makeup to be extremely absorbed into your skin so that that's going to create a barrier from the makeup products to your skin so you wouldn't really have a lot of um, dark and black spots and all of those things I actually use the Korean snail mousseine for that it actually serves as also a moisturizing primer and not fully a primer but it's just something to moisturize so what i use is that i mix it with my normal primer you can get literally any primer but right now i do not have my own basic primer because it finished but i'm still going to do the video anyways so i use the snail mousseine um power essence to actually moisturize my skin and to also create a little barrier from the skin products to enter my skin okay guys so we are going to take this because one thing i like about my combined skin is the consistency you want it to be this sticky and um it's actually like the goal of your makeup so guys i'm going to just apply this on my skin So I'm doing like a full coverage because I'm having a little hyperpigmentation and breakout from my skin, if you can see it. So while I'm applying this, I moisturize my skin. So my makeup is gonna sit proper. The second point is getting a very good foundation for your skin. You do not want to get a, an extreme light foundation from your skin because you don't want to look too white so you have to get a foundation that is going to blend with your skin and also your neck area how you're going to know how to pick out the right foundation for your skin it's just basically place it around here here and here like the three different shades that actually come close to your skin color and just place it here whichever blends better between your your neck area to your face uh, that's that's your skin color. So basically, I love the black up, the black up um, foundation, and this is a matte foundation which actually literally lasts for twenty four hours. Why I literally love the black up foundation because this is amazing. So I couldn't really get a perfect color for a perfect foundation for my skin color. So I got two colors that I know that when I blended it together it was looking good so i'm gonna show you guys right now so guys can you literally see what i did this is the darker shade this is the lightest shade and this is the mixture of those two shades you see how it literally blends into my skin and my neck even with the fact that i'm still going to apply my highlighters my concealers you still want to get something very 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 mixed with your own skin color so it doesn't like out shade normal coverage so when it comes to blending guys so when it comes to blending your makeup after mixing properly if you've gotten the right 
right shade of your foundation after mixing properly a lot of people tend to use the mixing the blending brushes that it's literally long but me i still love my beauty blender so i get one that actually when it goes under water it's going to still swell up and you can see how big this this is i'm going to blend this on this palette so you're going to need a very little type you don't want too much on your face because you're still going to see but i'm going to tell you guys a secret how my makeup actually lasts for me and you know <laughs> that's the secret and it was a friend that taught me this in school it was literally my friend that taught me this in school and when i found out that has been like my go-to um makeup tip so you guys i'm just gonna blend this properly into my skin i've blended it you can see the shade is also close to the same shade to my skin so i'm just gonna blend it alongside with I'm not done blending yeah but do you see how it's literally covered my blemishes my dark spots everything do you see what just happened here <laughs> so you need to get a good foundation that's what I keep talking about you see how this blends properly to my skin shape color but it's not too far from my basic skin do you understand you see I put a little of the foundation here and see how it has really covered my whole face can you guys see it literally covered my whole face is better than how i looked before so my love what i use for my eyebrows is the wren and the spooky and this is the v's like i'm someone that i literally do not want to start changing um basic things that i know how it actually suits my skin and my makeup still comes out fine some people use different ties but you can still stick with that but if you still know that this is still good for you you can use that so i use the vase and this is number 18 please do not use number three okay if you're extremely dark you can use number three thin um i don't want my eyebrows to thin so you're just gonna shape this um shape it to the side that you want you can see my eyebrows are already shaped to how i want it so you guys are gonna take your eye pencils straight down let me tell you the secret to why i can do this is because i did a micro blade last year but it's fading but that's why it's giving me that kind of um lining to actually do my eyebrows properly so guys if you can notice that i'm not literally using i'm not making it that thick because i don't like it that thick i'm not making it that thick i'm just following the line but i'm just giving it a little touch up because that's what i'm trying to do okay guys so for the concealing of my eyebrows i use the la pro concealer this has been for ages and i'm not willing to change it for anything but you can try out very good brands you need to know how to select good concealers for your skin and if you're concealing you want to conceal two shades lower than your normal skin type and your normal foundation so it's not going to be looking like this you know how people have like this white lining there it's you don't want that for your makeup so guys i use the bobby brown um concealer brush you can see it has a very sharp edge so that when you go to the store or the drugstore or the market you need to be very very precise of what brush you use for your concealers and you have to look at it here it has a very sharp angled mouth and that's how you know you want to do it because you want a very sharp cutting at the edges of your eyebrows
so when you're picking your blending brush for your eyebrows you need to know that it has gonna be this curved because you want to blend out the sides properly you can see you have to be careful around your edges and do you see why i said you need to get something that just has this okay guys um the next one is to conceal my under eyes and i use the matte pro concealer by exclusive makeup you guys you can see i'm gonna be using the la pro 2 and this you can see it's almost close to the same color this is the warm nude the warm nude this is so affordable i think i got this for like a thousand naira it's a matte well, most of my makeup products all i use is mostly matte products i don't know why but this is how i use them my la pro this is the creamy beige um, beige um gc973 <music> guys you're going to start blending properly under your eye Okay guys, so the next step is to contour my face, my under eye, my T-zones and my forehead. So what I use is the Usher's Contour Palette. You can also use the V Beauty Contour Palette for that and it's going to be amazing. So the next brush I use is this LT402 brush. This is like the setting powder brush. You can see it is written there. This is a setting powder brush and you need to get you need to know that you need to get a very soft brush for that as this is the darker shade for my skin type white so we're just going to have a full coverage around this area and Put it on my forehead your t-zone so the next step i'm going is to my eye area so i just want to get a very soft to nude kind of shadow and you know get it done so i used my kajar it's called kajal i use my kajal and i put it under my eyeliner i actually like using the white liners it just depends on eye and not so do you see how this comes out This actually gives your eye a very defined look and sassy look and catchy look in eyeshadows. I just go in with the nude. So I'm going to use this nude right here for my eyeshadow, for my palette. You see how the under crease used for that is that I use this um, eyeliner is by Henfang eyeliner is a waterproof eyeliner it's so good and then I also use this Colossal Volume Express for my eye um, lashes I just gonna put it under my eye like this and make it angle at the ends do you see then follow it doing it filming and the mascara so guys i don't do much i just highlight lift it on my lashes and i'm just gonna place it under my eye tone right now um so you need to look at the edges and you see that one side comes along closer to one side comes lower than the other side of the edge so if you can see by this this side is lower than this side I don't know if you can see that this is longer but um regardless let's just go in but see do you see how it is um you can put the cut eyes this is my sculpting brush so i this is the rt 401 so i'll use that to just like blush off the 
I'll use that to like blush off the um, my setting powders I put before. So I'm just gonna blend it properly because it's looking a bit white. So we need to blend it properly and get it done. Guys, this is the Milani mineral powder and this is the medium money 108 you need to use a powder that actually blends with your skin color and if you can see it actually blends with my skin one thing i like about this company is that if you're not really um if you don't really have a good knowledge of what sort of brush to use it's going to also highlight it for you this is my powder brush and it's set here so i'm just gonna take my powder and use it so guys what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my setting spray the setting spray i'm using is the naked for kids beauty makeup fix spray this helps to like instantly set my makeup and extend its wear and holds my skin continuously for hydration and comfort you also know that i have a combined skin and i just want it to be hydrated but to lock up my skin and still give itself the freshness and in as much i'm going to carry this makeup for over 12 hours it's still going to hold for about 42 hours so i'm just going to put it five um meters away from my skin and splash I'll do like this so it doesn't really drag your eye just here and splash you can see how it's moisturizing my um my makeup you can see how it's locking it up you can see how everything is coming in blended this is just gonna sit and dry and as we're doing that i'm everything for my lip gloss i use the ghastly lip gloss this is the ad20 i also use the clear lip gloss this is the ad25 then i use my carite pencil color to line my lips this is the number three and this is number five because i want to give that kind of kylie look um lip stick and lip combination lip combo on my combination so i'm gonna use the darker one to line my lips around my lips arc you can see Do you see the color combo? Mm -hmm. And so I'm just gonna go in like this around the ending parts. To reduce like the content to my lips so I can put the lip gloss. Yeah. like using the darker shade to overly highlight i got but you can use like your eye pencils it also helps to actually like you know highlight your lip line properly but you can see from my own i don't like it i like it very soft to pinkish and a bit girly it's still in my usher palette i still use this you can use the mac but right now this is what i'm gonna use just going to I don't like too much of the bronze and yeah you have to use the bronze after do you see what it gives it looks blend this is it guys and i'll show you the finished look but i need you to assess how i blended everything and how everything sits on my skin just with little mistakes i made in the video but do not let that you know so you guys would see how it blends from the concealers from my foundation from my blushes look at it